Stupid cop. Make sure your damn wife's not creeped out by me before you invite me over. So, Hayes. Interesting hairstyle. What made you grow it out so long? Hey, Hayes, come over for breakfast. We'll talk about your fucking hair. Oh, you know, it keeps my head warm. I see. I... I like it. It suits you. This douchebag is trying way too hard. Thanks. I feel like I can just become an upstanding citizen now that someone accepts me. What a prick. Oh my god. Hayes, he's just trying to be nice. So, I have a son that works in business. He reminds me a lot of you. You mean I remind you a lot of him, right? Because if your son reminds you of some random punk, then you've got a few screws loose. Um, uh... I think I see what's going on here. You miss your son, since he's all moved out and gone, because he never calls you. You're old, and you feel like you're going to die soon. You want desperately to do something meaningful with your life before you do it. So you play the nice guy with a broken, misguided teenager who needs your help. The broken teen reminds you of the son you failed, so you think you can try again and make up for it through him. Hayes, look, that's not what... Look, Craig, life's about self-satisfaction. People don't do shit for others. It's not the fucking way it works. The food was very good. Sorry I fucking creeped you out. I should have seen something like that coming, but he still surprises me. Well, that went better than I expected. Yes? I... I broke your vase near the front door. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It was just my mother's ashes, no problem. You're still a self-righteous fuck-off. But I am sorry about the vase. It was very pretty. Yeah. Bye. I don't know if it was intentional or an accident or if he just looked at it and it fucking shattered. Yet another mystery to keep me up at night.